as you saw, creating text inside of Motion, very simple and very straightforward, much like in After Effects or Photoshop. But let's talk about a little bit more of an advanced technique, and I'm talking about animating this text. Now, as soon as I say the word animating, most people immediately associate keyframes with that. But we're not going to be doing keyframing in this webinar. What we're going to do is we're going to use a different technique called behaviors. Behaviors are exclusive to Motion, and they're so simple to use. You're going to love them as soon as you see them. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to the library, and you're going to notice the very first category is, appropriately enough, behaviors. You're going to see that we have a whole bunch of different categories of behaviors inside of Motion. But obviously the two that are most relevant to us right now is text animation, of which there's only four behaviors in there. So we're going to leave that for just a second. Next, obviously, text sequence. You'll see that we have six categories. And when I drop down the very first category, you're going to see that I have pairs of behaviors to animate in and animate out. Now, how I see what these behaviors actually do is simple. I simply click on them and you're going to notice up here in the upper left hand corner, we now have a real time preview of what this behavior is going to do. Great thing is, is that if you don't want to watch this animation constantly going to drive you crazy, what you can do is just simply pause it so you don't have to watch it all the time. Applying this behavior is very easy. I'm simply going to take it. I'm going to drag it over here right on top of my text. And as soon as I do, you're going to notice everything update in my timeline and my text disappear. Now you'll see my little animation up here is going again, so I'm just going to pause that. And you'll see that if I come over to my timeline, I can now simply hit play and that behavior has been added to my text, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten up my text here a little bit because what I want to do is do a little bit of an animation out as well. So since we did an arrange in, let's do an arrange out. I'm simply going to take a range out. I'm going to drag it over here onto my text. I'm now going to take a range out. I'm just going to drag it right down here to the end. We'll snap it right to the end. So now what we have is an animation in and then an animation out, just like that. So you've now created a fairly complex text animation inside of Apple's motion, really in no time flat. This is why behaviors are the absolute key to your animating workflow. Why? Not only do they look great, but they're very quick to apply and obviously everything plays back in real time.